I'm so excited to finally be sharing with you my cochinita pibil recipe. It's the king of Mayan barbecue recipes and my go-to dish anytime I'm feeding a large crowd. That's cochinita. First, start by toasting your spices and once fragrant, remove them from the heat. Next, slightly grind your spices. There's no need to get it super fine since we'll also be using a blender. However, this will help us better release those oils within the spices to give the dish a more complex and bold flavor. Next, in some lard, brown your onions and garlic to really help out bring out their natural sweetness. In the past, I've charred them instead, but I really enjoyed this version. In a blender, add your brown garlic and onion, bitter orange juice, your spices, achote paste, and vinegar. All ingredients and measurements will be found in the caption along with some tips. Next, cut your pork into chunks. Now, traditionally for this dish, you would use the entire hog. I used a mixture of ribs and pork shoulder, and I always like to add some sort of meat with some bone for more flavor. Trotters and pig skin are also a great addition in this. Next, we'll be marinating the pork. You're gonna line your dish with some banana leaves and start building layers of pork, add your marinade, and really massage that into the meat. As mentioned earlier, traditionally, the entire hog would be used, but not many people like to eat pig trotters or pig skin, so to boost up that flavor, I like topping it off with some lard. Add another layer of banana leaves Leaves, cover it and let it marinate overnight. Cochinita in Mayan means pork and pibil means underground oven. But I don't have the luxury of an underground oven, so I use my regular one and cook at 325 until tender. And just like that, 